Good morning. We are here at 34th Annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. I'm Ann Gasta, the race course director and sponsorship coordinator. I am the vice president of the Bay Area Runners Club. We are here with the St. Patrick's Day 5K Run, 5K Walk, and the 8K Run. We want to welcome you, encourage you to come out and run with us. Three. And walk two. Yep. Got one there. I got one. Normally I run outside, but when it's real cold out, I stay inside. See, I've been only three miles though because you gotta get your breathing slow. Yeah. That's what I did for mine. That's how I do it. If I start feeling the burn, I'm kind of slow down a little bit. We have here the two winners of the 5K today at the St. Patrick's Day Bay City Races. And uh, can you tell us your name, please? My name is Nick Cruz. I'm a 21-year-old. Go to SVSU. Race was okay today. It wasn't that. It wasn't anything fantastic for me. I mean, I just kind of ran as a training run, and uh, just wanted to hold my title again for two years in a row. Oh, so you're defending your title? Yes. Right. I, it was really a consolation. I wasn't going to race, but then I decided, eh, I might as well defend my title since this is a fun race anyway. And your name is Jack Reader. I'm 18. Okay. And I got a second of Valley too. Oh, okay. So Saginaw Valley took both of them. Have you won this race before yourself? Uh, two years ago. Oh, okay. So you're both familiar with the course. It's pretty flat, fast course, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. I didn't see any hills out there. No, no hills, but there was a headwind for most of the course, so that was kind of brutal. That's kind of why I'm wearing all that I'm wearing right now. Otherwise, I'd be in like a racing singlet, but right. sure. it's not the warmest of days. No, no, it, no, it isn't, but the sun's out and all that sort of stuff. And congratulations. Thanks a lot for talking with us. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you very much. We have here an unusual person. She's a race director who found time to run her own race. And Gasta, how'd it go for you today? Excellent. I ran my best race ever. It's perfect weather for it, isn't it? Oh, yeah. The wind has died down a little bit. Sun's out. Feels great. Yeah. How about you, Jack? I was fun. It was my second race ever, and I had a great time, and I did really good. Your second race ever? Second race, yes. Oh, okay. So 7.30 this morning, setting this whole thing all up for everybody here. <laughs> oh, so, volunteers. Okay. So, so you're one of the people I Ann roped into helping. Yes, yes. <laughs> she says, you will be there. I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ann, everybody's just having a ball. I've seen so many people wearing green and having, having a great time. And uh, the, the two winners had fun today. So... It looks to me like you've got a great turnout. What did you? What do your numbers look like so far? Uh, numbers were up going into the expo yesterday, and the way the lines looked this morning, you could hardly get in the gym. So I, I'm guessing we did at least as well as la last year, maybe better. That's what we're hoping for. Well, one of the things that seems pre pretty interesting about this course is it's a, it's a flat, fast one. So people who have wheels really enjoy getting good times on it, don't they? Oh, definitely. And if that wind dies down just right like it has today, it's perfect. And Jack, uh, what's, your, what's your next race going to be? Whenever she tells me. April. <laughs> April? Okay. <laughs> April it'll be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, and congratulations on just a great event, and we look forward to seeing people partying a little bit later on. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for coming out. You're welcome. You. We have here one of the folks from React of Bay County, and you're providing a lot of communications, lead vehicles, uh, trailing vehicles, and intersection management, lots of other stuff for this race. How did you get started doing that? Oh, we've been doing it a long time. We're a community-oriented organization, and we do what we have to do to help the police. We work with Bay City Police, uh, Essexville, uh, Hampton, uh, Red Cross. We work basically with all emergency, everything to do with emergency to help out the community. We've been doing it for probably 34 years. Whew, that's kind of a long time. Well, this is a little bit different. It's not quite an emergency, but you've got a lot of traffic to manage, right? Well, yes, it's... Uh, Basically, today is traffic control, and we do have uh, vehicles throughout the route that will 
in case of emergency, we can take somebody to the hospital or do whatever, whatever is necessary, whatever it takes. And you also have some block in the intersection so people won't cross in the middle of the race or the parade, right? Yes, we have. We stop the traffic uh, along the, the race route so that people will not get hit or run over. It's all safety. All safety. And what's your name, sir? My name's Howard Heading, and I am the president of REACT. I found the president. How about that? <laughs> well, that's great. Congratulations on doing a great service for the community. Thank you, Howard. You're very welcome. Thank you. We hope you have enjoyed our show.